But that's just it, isn't it? That's it. Good luck. Kingfisher has wings! initiative and we're attempting to build the world's fastest remote controlled aircraft. Now we're under no illusions that our Kingfisher aircraft is going to be a very difficult aircraft to fly. In order to reach 500 plus mile an hour speeds we needed to cram the biggest possible engine into the smallest possible package and this means our wing loading is very high. Now we've done a lot of ground-based studies to optimize the shape of our delta wing and maximize its lifting efficiency. But ultimately, to understand the dynamic stability of the aircraft and tune our flight controller, we need flight tests. Initially, we built some very basic foam models in order to tune the centre of gravity location. Let's look at those tests first. The issue with the foam models is they have a very low wing loading and they lack the intricate 3D details that the Kingfisher's geometry has. Building on this, we adapted the 3D printed model that we showed off in a previous video, reducing the slice slightly to 60% while keeping the same 70mm electric ducted fan to maximise the thrust to weight ratio. We also added cooling ducts for our ESCs and a hook for attaching our catapult. Now it's worth noting that we're not going to be the ones to fly the Kingfisher on its maiden flight. That will be the responsibility of our test pilot Chris Sabo who has a lot more experience with flying fast jets. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm going to be the pilot for the Mac Initiative. I've been 42 years old, been flying since I was six. I've flown hundreds of different types of aircraft, flying professionally as a test pilot for a certain company. Lots of experience with heavy jets, big jets, up to 150, 200 kilograms, aerobatics. They are flying. Looking forward to flying, actually. Okay. Oh. I just checked that it's definitely the. Yeah, that's the right way. Three, two, one, launch! It's flown. Three, two, one, launch! The Kingfisher has wings!
Got about four minutes of flight. Three minutes of flight. Nice. Flight uh, went well. It was quite unstable in pitch, a very unstable in roll, but most of literally half a mil to bring it round. Um, we did a half power pass, and I, I estimate it was about 90 knots, and it's got plenty of legs in it to go a lot faster, even the EDF version. So, yeah, I think a little bit of refinement, and we can really get it locked in. I look forward to flying it again many times. Yeah, the flight went really well. We uh, had to add a bit of ballast to move the centre of gravity by present better. We then flew a little bit unstable, but Chris was able to control it and we're going to work towards making it more stable and refined and learn some lessons for the performance scale. We've seen all your feedback in the comments. Thank you very much for that. We're going to make sure to work through that feedback before we do the high speed flight. We're also then going to continue to uh, get some practice flying this aircraft to ensure we fully understand the stability and the handling of the aircraft and uh, ensure we've got the centre of gravity in exactly the right position before we then uh, proceed to the Kingfisher's flight tiles. So if you could bear with us while we prepare for that full speed, full scale flight, that'd be brilliant. For now, we're just going to keep practising with this, finish the build of the Kingfisher and try and get a record.